graders, first graders? Have you been moving around yet? If you haven't, why don't we do 10 jumping jacks right now? Ready? Push that chair in. Here we go. If I'm doing 10, you need to do 10 too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now touch your toes three times. One, two, and three. Woo. Give it a wiggle. Nice job. Two belly breaths. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. If you need, grab a little sip of water too. Today, we are going to write a how-to paper. Hmm, what are we gonna write how-to for? Take a look. We're gonna write how to build a snowman. In your new toolkit, there's a paper. There's two papers that are paper clipped together. The top one is a snowman, and the second one is your writing paper. Please find them and a pencil. That's all you need right now, okay? Our job is we are gonna write, watch a short video on how to build a snowman so that we can get some background information and do some researching. Then we're gonna write how you build a snowman. Here we go. Snowman building one-on-one. Okay, turn up those ears. Put on those attention scopes. You need to pay attention to our research. One of the highlights of a fresh snowfall is the magic of the snowman. And the key to a good snowman is the snow. It needs to be a wet snow. If it's too dry, it just won't pack well. Start at the base and roll a big ball of snow. Take time to shape it just right. You can also reinforce the snowman by packing snow around the base. Repeat this process with the middle and top sections. Use the snow as a glue to help secure the pieces. Now that we have the basic shape, let's accessorize. Use twigs for arms, coal or charcoal briquettes for eyes, a carrot for the nose, and maybe some colorful candies for the mouth. To add a nice touch, spray some colored water for blush marks. With some creativity, you can create a unique snowman. A tie and a fedora will give you a businessman. A visor and sarong will make it look like a day at the beach. You can also build a cute friend for your snowman. Just beware of snow poops. You don't want to track those inside. Most importantly, just have fun. That's what the holidays are all about. Awesome. One of the highlights of a fresh snowfall. Pause. Did you get enough research, everyone? I sure found some super important tips for how to build a snowman. Right now, you're going to set your snowman picture to the side. We just need our writing one. Luckily, it already has a title for us. All you need to do is with your pencil, write your name at the bottom. Every first grader should be using a pencil. No one is using marker or crayons. When we are writing a how-to paper, it is super important that we use our transition words. Those help our reader figure out when we move from step to step. The first transition word that we are going to use is, can you guess? Yeah, first. First. Er, F, I, R, S, T, S, T. First. And then we're gonna put a little comma. What is the first thing you need to do when building a snowman? Yeah, you need to roll the snowballs. Now, let's be descriptive. Should the snowballs all be the same size? No. First, roll a small, medium, and large snowball. First, roll 
R O L L R O L L A small sm sm and then all small we're making a list now so add that comma medium e d i u m medium comma that's the second thing in our list and the last one is and large uh, r when i hear r like a pirate it is a r g silent e large snowball o snow and then ball b b b and then the word all period now first graders if you are not done writing our first direction you need to hit pause if you are done writing then you can keep playing remember it is okay if your directions look a little different than mine but make sure you are being descriptive that first was our first transition word now our new transition word is going to be next 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 comma what do we do after we have three snowballs yeah, you need to stack the snowballs on top of each other. So next, stack. Stack. Stack the snowballs. O balls. B all i cite word all s, s because there's more than one next stack the snowballs on top t up of each other e e a C H each other uh, er E R period. If you are not done, hit that pause button so you can finish your sentence. If you are done, let's reread our first two steps. First, roll a small, medium, and large snowball. Next. Stack the snowballs on top of each other. Our next transition word is the word then. So then, what should we do? Let's write then first. P H E N comma then. So we have a stacked snowman. What should we do now? Yeah, give him arms and a face. Hmm, can we be a little more descriptive on the arms? What type of arms do snowman have? Yeah, they have stick arms, okay? So give g, i, i, v. No words end in v in English, so we add our e. Give him, i, m. Give him, this is where we're being descriptive, Stick arms, not just normal arms. St ick C K arms are like a pirate. A R arms S for more than one. Arms and a face. A Remember, C can also make the sound of S, E, period.
We are down to one last step for making a snowman. If you have not finished our third step, which is green, hit pause so that you can finish our last step. We're gonna use the transition word in last. 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 What should you do now? You have a snowman, he's stacked up with arms and a face. What does he need? Yeah, you need to dress him. So last, put a scarf and hat on him. P put, put a hat at and scarf. R, there's that R again. A R like a pirate, scarf, F. Put a hat and scarf on him, period. Please hit pause if you are not done. Great job, first graders. Let's read over our work. How to build a snowman. First, roll a small, medium, and large snowball. Next, stack the snowballs on top of each other. Then, give him stick arms and a face. Last, put a hat and scarf on him. Great job, first graders. Your next job is to decorate your snowman. Feel free to use your crayons or markers. And I'll show you a little bit of magic. Three, two, one, zero. Wow, first graders, it is your turn to color your snowman. Notice my snowman. I colored inside the lines and I filled up the whole space. There is no white marks. I did not scribble at all. Now, your job is to hit pause. When you hit pause, I want you to color your snowman. When your snowman is done just like mine, you can hit play and I'll tell you the next directions. Thanks for hitting pause, first graders. If you are listening to me right now, that means you are all done coloring your snowman. Your next job is you need your scissors and your glue stick. We are going to take our scissors and cut our snowman out. Make sure he stays as one snowman. So his arms, his scarf, head, and hat should stay as one piece. Take your time cutting, I know it can be tricky. Nice job cutting. Here's my snowman. When you are done cutting out your snowman, you're gonna flip him over and put just a little glue right where his scarf was between his hand. One, two, three. I ran the glue across about three to five times and that's plenty. Flip my snowman over and push him down. Now, it looks like my snowman is holding my writing. If you'd like, I didn't tell you earlier, but you can also color in the border or you can leave it white just like mine. Thanks so much first graders for helping me write how to build a snowman. 
Have a great day. I'll see you later.